Well, hello everyone. God bless you all. Thank you all for joining us tonight. We believe that we are in the right place at the right time. Amen. And we want to just uh, welcome you and thank you for visiting us tonight. Amen. It's a it's an honor to be able to share the word of God. Amen. And so I just want to thank you all for joining us. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, let's pray because I'm, it's, it's, I'm 25, 29 minutes behind schedule. I normally try to get here by 11 a.m. How you doing, sir? You? Amen. Rodriguez, God bless you. Amen. So, Father, we come to you now in the gracious and mighty name of Jesus, and we thank you, Father, for this opportunity to share your word once again. Father, we believe that we receive exactly what your word declares that is ours. And Father, you said in your word that you sent your word and you healed them and delivered them from their destruction. According to Psalms 107 verse 20. And Father, we believe your word. We stand upon that word, Father. Now, Father, we know that many of the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers out of them all. So we come to you, Father, believing knowing that you are who you say that you are and that you will deliver those that have needs in their bodies right now. I believe, I confess it, I release it now in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Well, thank you all for joining us once again. Uh, my name is Pastor Larry Bergen, New Life in Christ Jesus Church here in Sacramento, California. Amen. It's an honor to be able to share with you the Word of God. Amen. I look forward to doing this. It's, it's just something that I love doing. God bless you too. Amen and amen. That's right. Amen. I love doing this. I just because, you see, I used to be sick myself, and I didn't have any money, didn't have any insurance, and I learned the principles of how to receive according to the Word of God. <clears throat> and uh, and what I learned, I I just like to share, uh, you know. Uh, I like to share, and so uh, I hope that uh, that we can say something tonight that will cause your faith to be ready. Amen. Sergio, you said you ready, but not received your healing yet, huh? Okay, then let's get let's get in the let's get in the faith. And let's let's get out of let's get out of doubt and let's get into faith. Faith is going to help you to receive your healing, amen. So we're gonna we're gonna believe God that you that are believing God tonight are going to release your faith. I'm going to agree with you right now for your faith to be released, amen. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit of fear, every spirit of doubt and unbelief. I rebuke it. I, call, I, I speak, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, and I say, be bound, you spirit of doubt. Be bound, you spirit of fear. Be bound now. Father, you said in your word, whatever I bind on earth, it is bound in heaven. So, Father, I bind up that spirit of doubt. I bind up that spirit of fear right now in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, you said whatever I loose in earth shall be loosed in heaven. So, Father, right now, I loose the spirit of faith upon your people. I decree it, I declare it. Now be loose upon your people right now in Jesus' name. Now receive that, amen, receive that. Because we're going to take you, we're going to take you in the word of God right now. And we want you to, to receive your healing. Oh yeah, and by the way, tomorrow is Thursday, which will be prayer time, amen. Intercessory prayer time, where we call in all intercessory prayer warriors, to join us at 9 in the morning, 12 at noon, and 3 in the evening. Amen. Because there's a lot of prayer needs right now that is that is that is, that is out there. That, uh, that, that disease, that virus that is spreading. Amen. We need to pray for the, the victims 
amen, that are that are, have contracted this disease, this virus, and because from the last I heard, that was over, there was two thousand or more right now have already died from this disease. So, folks, there's a lot of prayers is needed right now. China, they said they said there's a uh, seventy five thousand more have already been affected, and 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 the majority of those that have been affected is in China. So we need to pray, amen. We need to bind up that spirit of corona, amen, that corona virus. We need to bind up that, that corona virus, amen. And we need to pray and release the will of God over the people of the land. And it is the will of God for the people to walk free of these dreadful diseases, amen, viruses and germs. See, the devil is a liar. And we have to just, we have to, we have to, Exercise our authority as children of God, Amen. Over these things, so in the morning at nine a.m., we're going to be praying for the Israel, praying for the Prime Minister, his family. We're going to pray for the Parliament, uh, his and all the, the leaders that are under him, Amen. And we're going to be praying for them on at uh, nine o'clock in the morning, Amen. At twelve noon, we're going to be praying for the United States. We're going to be praying for the President. We're going to be praying for the Vice President. We're going to be praying for the uh, the the, the our soldiers and our military personnel, amen, because you see, these are the people that help keep us safe, amen. We're going to be praying for the, uh, let's see, the Congress and legislators and all these people. We need, we, boy, we need to pray for these people big time, amen. Then at 3 p.m., we're going to be praying for 3 p.m., folks. This is very important. 3 p.m. is very important, very important. All of them is important, but 3 p.m., we're going to focus on that corona, we're going to focus our attention on that corona spirit, that 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 uh that uh corona what a uh, virus that is that is working trying to uh, penetrate the earth. Amen. We're going to counsel that spirit. We're going to counsel that spirit. Amen. But we're going to be praying for the fivefold ministry gifts. Amen. We're going to be praying for the fivefold ministry gifts that the apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastors, and teachers. Amen. We're going to pray for a spirit of unity among the fivefold ministry gifts. And we're going to bind up that spirit of Corona. That is that, that this is this, this virus that's been released. Amen. I don't know where it's come from, but I know where it's going. Are y'all with me on, on this? Amen. I don't know where it come from, but I know where it's going. And it's not going to no, 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 no evil shall come nigh our dwelling. Amen. No sickness, no disease shall come nigh our dwelling because of this uh, uh, spirit that is running around. Amen. This Corona virus. Amen. So now let's get into faith and let's trust God. Let's believe God. Amen. Are you going to receive your healing tonight? This is, this is number seven, lesson number seven along this line. And my job, my job is to establish your faith. My job is to establish your faith and to point you in the right direction. It is your job to open up your heart and release your faith and believe the word of God. That's your job. My job is to get you in the right direction. The word of God shall be a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Amen. My job is to get you in the right direction. Your job is to hear the word, believe the word, and act upon the word that you have received. Release your faith on it. Amen. Release your faith on it. In the book of Isaiah chapter 53, in the book of Isaiah chapter 53, amen, let's get, let just go there real quick, because we fin we're going to go through some scriptures today, because I'm, I'm not going to do a whole lot of preaching, but I'm going to give you some, I'm going to give you some, some ammunition to, I'm going to give you, I'm going I'm to help you to establish a, a foundation of the word of God in your heart concerning healing, amen, because you see, Faith comes where the will of God is known. A lot of people don't know that it is God's will for them to be healed. And therefore, they are still questioning God. Why have I not received my healing? What's going on with God? Am I, you know, well, the, the, truth, the truth of the matter is that you have not, uh, you have not uh, come in alignment with the will of God concerning your healing. This is the main thing that God is looking for, the people to come in alignment with his will and with his word. His word is his will, and his will is his word. God wants us to come in alignment with his word. Amen? We got to come in alignment with his word. So in the, in the book of Isaiah, in the book of Isaiah, 
Amen. Look with me in, 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 in chapter number 53. Amen. Isaiah chapter 53. And look at verse number four. He said, oh, let's look at verse number one first. Isaiah chapter 53, verse number one. Because you see, this is where it all starts. What you believe is going to, is going to, is going to manifest in your life. And, and what you uh, question, that means that you're not ready to receive. You, you don't question, just believe. Just believe. Notice what he said, Isaiah chapter 53, verse number one. Who had believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he, for he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, a root in a, in a dry ground. He had no form of comeliness. When, he shall, when we shall see him, there's no beauty that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected of men, of man, of man, of men, a man of sorrow, acquainted with grief, and we hid as it were our face from him. He was despised, and we esteem him not. Verse number four. Verse number four is very powerful, folks. Surely he had borne our grief. This is this is what the, this is a, this is a prophetic word that is given to us for today. Surely he had borne our grief and carried our sorrows, yet we esteem him, stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Amen. And it goes on to say, verse number five says, But he was wounded for our transgression. Now notice what he was wounded for. He was wounded for our transgressions. Amen. He was wounded for our transgression. And the Bible goes on to say, And he was bruised. For our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And the Bible said, with his stripes, we are healed. We are healed. Now, let's go to another account of, of, of this. Let's go to, see, this, this scripture that I just read to you, Isaiah chapter 53, verse 4 and 5, was fulfilled in the book of Matthew. Amen. This scripture, this prophecy was fulfilled in the book of Matthew, chapter uh, 8. Go there with me, if you don't mind, please. Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8. Now look with me in verse number 16. Verse number 16. Verse number 16 and 17. Amen. Matthew chapter 8, verse 16 and 17. When, when the even was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirit with his word, and get this, folks, and healed all the, that were sick. He healed all that were sick. Amen. How you doing, Larissa? Amen. Verse number 17 said, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Ezekiel the prophet. Now, this is the fulfillment of what was spoken in Isaiah chapter 53, verse 4 and 5. Amen. Verse number 17 right here is the fulfillment of that prophecy. A few, that's a few years later. Amen. And I notice what it said, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Ezekiel the prophet saying, Himself took our infirmity and bare our sicknesses. Himself took our infirmity and bare our sicknesses. Amen. I went to the hospital on last night to visit my mother-in-law. Amen. Uh, and and uh, uh, she's uh, she's she's in the hospital, and and uh, and we we I went up there last night by myself. Amen. I went up there and I and I, and I prayed for her. Amen. I prayed for her. She was not responding at all. She didn't even know I was in the room. She didn't even know I was in the room. But when I when I laid my hand on her and started praying for her, it was just like the power of the Spirit of the living God began to just leave my body and going into her. Going into her. Amen. As I laid my hand upon her. Amen. Today, we went back over there this morning and this evening. She's talking she's i mean she's she's eating a little bit right now and she's doing a whole lot better amen why because i believe the word of god works and when i believe something so strongly i act upon it with all my heart amen so we are expecting a full we are, we're expecting her to to uh to to recover and come on out of that place that's not, that's where our expectation is Amen. We want y'all to stay in agreement with us concerning that matter. Amen. Because I know that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Amen. So notice again what it says in the book of, in the book of Matthew, chapter 8, verse number 17. 
that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Ezekiel the prophet, saying, Himself took our infirmity and bare our sicknesses. Talking about Jesus. Jesus Himself took our infirmity and bare our sicknesses. We believe that God has the ability to restore health to you. Amen. As, because it tells us in the book of Jeremiah. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter chapter 30. Jeremiah chapter 30. I, I, my heart, if my heart is correct on that, at Jeremiah chapter 30. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 30. Look at verse number 17. Verse number 17. Amen. Oh yeah, there it is, right there. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds. God is talking to us, amen. He said he will restore health and he will heal us of our wounds. How many of you know that God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent? Had he not said it and should he not make it good? God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. And all we have to do is come in agreement with his word and believe. Simply believe. Amen. Simply believe. Glory to God. Now, we're going through some more scriptures here because, see, there are some, there's so many scriptures. There's, there's so many scriptures that we need to understand in order to get our heart to believe the word of God. Now, let's go to 1 Peter chapter 2. 1 Peter chapter 2. Amen. I was just going to go somewhere else, but it's in my spirit. So let's just go there. 1 Peter 2, verse number 24. Amen. He said, who himself, he said, who his own self, bear our sins in his own body. Now notice what he, what he bared in his own body. He bared our sins in his own body. Who did? Jesus did. Glory to God. He bared our sins in his own body. Glory to God. And so if he bared our sins in his own body, now notice what else he said. He said, notice what he said. Talk, talking about Jesus. Verse, first Peter chapter 2, verse number 24. Amen. Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree. I get this. That we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness by whose stripes. Now I get this. This is past tense. This is not present. This is past tense. He said, by whose stripes we were healed. This is past tense. Past tense. This is something that has already happened. This is something that is already done. God has made a way for you out of no way. When you thought that there was no hope for you, when you thought there was no way out of your situation concerning your health and your healing, amen, God showed up and he and He gave you an avenue that if you would just simply believe the word of God, he said that all things are possible to him that believe. Mark chapter 9, verse number 23, amen. All things are possible to him that believe. Looking, friend, friend, for this is the purpose that the Son of God was manifest to destroy the works of the devil. Sickness and disease does not come from God. It doesn't come from God. Amen. It comes from the devil. It comes from the enemy. God's enemy. Amen. And if he's God's enemy, that means he's our enemy. If he's God's enemy, then he's our enemy. We need to come in agreement with the word of God and stand on the promise of God. Because when we do, we're saying, God, I believe your word is true. And that settles it. Therefore, I will not let go. I will not let the devil take my healing from me. You know, because you are you are healed and the devil's trying to take your healing away from you. Amen. You are the healed, you are healed, and the devil trying to take your healing away from you. And if you let him do it, folks, believe me. He's going to do it. Not only is he going to take your health away from you, but he's going to also attempt to take your life from you. Amen. He's going to try to take your life from you. Amen. Thank you for following me on Instagram. It, by the way, those of you that follow me on these networks, I'm going to follow you back. And I'm going to, I'm going to follow you back. I'm just letting you know. Because uh, a lot of people ask me, when they, when they follow me, they ask me to follow them back. So I'm just letting you know, those that follow me, I will follow you back. Amen. I will follow you back. Glory to God. So now notice what we notice what we're going notice what we're going through here now. Because you see, healing is not something that we need to take lightly. Healing, healing is something that God has already made available for us. But uh, but get this. 
where does where where the, where does the sickness come from? Why do we need healing? Why do why do sickness invade our body? Amen. Have you ever thought about some? Uh, have you ever thought about uh, some things that you have uh, did or some things that you have said so many times over and over in your life? And don't have you ever realized that your words carry power? Your words are powerful. Amen. If you go to the doctor and the doctor tell you that uh, uh, I'm sorry, but uh, you have cancer and uh, and uh, I, and I need you to come back in six in in, in, in uh, three in uh, two and a half to three months, so we can see the progress of it. Okay, and and all of a sudden you walked into the doctor's office with a smile on your face, but those words just I mean just cause your your, your whole countenance to change. Why? Because of words that were spoken, words that you heard, words that you have, uh, you, 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 that you, that was spoken toward you. Amen. If it's spoken toward someone else, you would, it wouldn't bother you so bad. But when it was spoken toward you, it caused your whole countenance to change. Amen. Why? Because those words was not words of life. Those words was words of fear, words of doubt, words of death. Those words carry power. Amen. That's why it's so important that when we hear a bad report, they don't, we, we don't go continually talking about what was said. Because what you're doing, you're putting wood on the fire. Amen. You, you, you're, causing, you're causing the situation to escalate. Why? Because your words as a child of God are very powerful. Very powerful. Amen? Your words are very powerful. And when you speak, your words carry weight. That's why God has given us a kingdom authority. We have the, we have the ability to operate, in this, to operate in this earth as kings and queens. Amen? Amen? Because God called us. Notice what he said in 1 Peter chapter 2. Verse number 20, verse first Peter chapter 2, verse number 9. He said, You are a chosen generation. He said, You are a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Amen. A peculiar people who've been called out of darkness to his marvelous light. So you are in this world, but you're not of this world. And get this: the Bible tells us in the book of Ephesians that we've been seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Now, if we go to that position that, that we just mentioned in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, amen, uh, you want to know where is it at in the Bible? Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. Go to the book of Ephesians. The book of Ephesians. Amen. In the book of Ephesians, I want you to go to me with me in chapter 2. Ephesians chapter 2. Amen. In the book of Ephesians chapter 2, I want you to look with me right here in verse number 6. In verse number six, and it says, and had raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places, in heavenly places. Amen. Now, what's in heavenly places? Go to chapter one, verse number 21 with me. Chapter one, chapter, uh, Ephesians chapter one, verse number 21. Amen. Verse number 21. He said, far above all principalities and powers and might and dominion in every name that is named. Not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. Amen. And had put all things under his feet. So if we are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, there is no sickness, there is no diseases in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Amen. So if we are, if we've been afflicted in our bodies, then that's, that means that we are still, now, now get this folks, we are in this world, but we are not of this world. The world is trying to tag you. Trying to tag you, so we want to, we want to, we want to sever that, 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 uh, that, that relationship with that spirit. How are we going to sever that relationship with that spirit? By the way of repentance. We're going to sever that relationship with that, with that spirit. We're going to sever that relationship with with that spirit by repentance. Amen. By repentance. Glory to God. And so that's what God is going to do. God is going to bring us to a place. Glory to God. God's going to bring us to a place where we can see the will of God manifesting in our lives. Amen. And it's through the word. 
It's through the word. God is going to do it, folks. God is going to do it. And all we have to do is just do our part. Believe. 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 All we got to do is believe. God is going to do his part. Amen. God is going to show up and he's going to show out. Amen. God is going to show up and he's going to show out. And when we do, the name of the Lord is going to be glorified. Why? Because we are in the right place. We're speaking the right things. And God is going to be glorified because we have come in alignment with his will. We have come in alignment with his will. Amen. How we do that? Because we are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Far above principalities and powers. Amen. No devil will be able to touch you and defeat you. Because you, the first John 4, 4 said, Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Now, folks. I know if God is working on my behalf trying to get me to receive my healing, I'm not going to let no lying spirit tell me any difference. Amen. I'm going to stick with the truth. The Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah chapter 41, verse number 10 says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed. That word dismayed to me is saying, don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Amen. For I am thy God. Amen. Don't be discouraged. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. I will uphold thee with the right with the right hand of my righteousness. Amen. And then let's look at verse number Jeremiah chapter chapter Jeremiah chapter one, verse number twelve. Amen. And then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. God wants to perform his word, but he wants you to believe the word. He wants you to believe. To believe is it's not it's not you know it just is easy it's it's more easier to believe than it is to doubt. It's more easier to believe than it is to doubt. Amen. So don't let doubt interfere with what God has already established for you to receive. Now God is not mad at you. He's not trying to He's not trying to take a a a, a, a shot at you. No, God is giving you an invitation. He's giving you an invitation. An invitation for what? An invitation to life. And that more abundant. He said that John chapter 10, verse 10, he said, The thief come not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Amen. He said, But I come that you might have life and that you may have it more abundantly. That's written in red. That means that was Jesus speaking. Amen. That was Jesus speaking. Amen. Glory to God. So remember what he said in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. He said that he will restore health unto thee. He will restore health unto thee. He will heal thee of thy wounds, said the Lord. He said, I will heal, you of, I will heal thee of thy wounds, said the Lord. God is letting us know that if we would just believe. The Bible tells us in the book of Mark chapter 11. Mark chapter 11. Come on, turn there with me now. I'm not going to be here too much longer. So people, please keep up and turn when I ask you to turn. Because you see, faith cometh, Romans 10, 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. My job is to cause faith to begin to rise up in your heart for healing. Amen. For healing. There are people that can preach faith and they're going to they're gonna cause faith to rise up in your heart for finances. There are people that can preach faith. They can cause faith to rise in your heart for for whatever that they that they that they uh have that have faith for. I have faith for healing. I have faith for this. Amen. How did I get it? I received it when God healed me. I've been preaching it ever since. Because I found out that not only can I be healed. But I found out because I've been teaching it so long and 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 watch and and and, and work walk with God in this area so long that I've seen many people heal, many people heal, many people heal. I've seen cancer uh, driven out of people's body. I've seen uh, uh, the dead raised. I've seen the blind eyes open. I've seen the deaf ears open. I've seen the crippled walk. Amen. How do I see all that? By preaching and teaching what I'm doing right here now. 
Amen. Staying with the word of God. God will do whatever you can believe him to do concerning his word. If you can believe it and it's in his word, God can do it. Amen. He can do it. God is not a man and he shall lie. In the book of Mark chapter 11, verse number 23 says, For verily, verily, I say unto you, that whosoever shall say to this mountain, be thou, verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart. And shall not doubt in his heart. See, that spirit of doubt is a roadblock to your healing. You may not understand it, but the spirit of doubt is a roadblock to your healing. We need to, we need to exercise our faith right now, and then we need to act on our faith. Amen. We need to exercise our faith. We need to act on our faith. Because, see, how, how can we claim the word of God, that what God has given us, if we don't claim it through faith? Amen. It was through faith that the worlds were framed by the word of God. I don't know how he did it, but it was through faith that the worlds were framed by the word of God. And if the word of God can, can frame worlds, friend, and, and he created man in his own image and after his liking. Don't you know that his word can, can heal you, can heal me, and whosoever that have need? Amen. I choose to believe that God's word will work, regardless of what we feel like, regardless of what we go through. God's word works. Ain't that right, Patricia? God's word works. Amen. God's word works. So we're going to be praying. We're going to be praying. That's right, Sergio. That's right. God where it works. We're going to be praying in a few. But remember, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. is the intercessory prayer time. We, this is when the intercessory prayer warriors, they're going to come together at 9 a.m. Whether they're here in America or whether they're in another country, at 9 a.m., wherever you are at 9 a.m., that's the time to pray. Amen. Now, on my phone, on my phone, I have a I have a clock. You see that, and I have the different time sets that I can set my time my time so that I won't miss my prayer time. Amen. I have all these times that I'm go I'm going to set my prayer time. I'm going to set one for nine in the morning. I'm going to set one for for twelve noon. I'm going to set one for three in, three in the evening. Why? Because I don't want to miss my prayer time. And I, if you have a a, a phone. Use that time. Use that uh, that you, you you set it to wake you up for go to work. Why don't you set it to to alert you when it's time to pray? Amen. When it's time to pray, Amen. You going I'm telling you, it's going it's you going you you want to pray. God is going to do something. God is going to visit you. God is going to show up, and He's going to show up on your behalf. But God is looking for some faithful people. How many of you listened to my message that I preached on? On a Tuesday night, you need to go back and you need to go and listen to that message that I preached on Tuesday night on intercessory prayer. Amen. Go back and listen to that message that I preached on Tuesday night. Amen. On intercessory prayer, and I guarantee you, you're gonna to want to pray. God is gonna to touch you. God is gonna to minister to you. God is gonna to speak to your heart in a very powerful way. Notice what again is said in Mark chapter 11, verse number 23. Amen. Because you see. God is wanting us to come together, not just here, but around the world. God is wanting us to come together and begin to pray, begin to seek his face. Amen. And it's time. It's time for us to do for us to do that because this this coronavirus is spreading. We want to stop that coronavirus. So tomorrow, amen, at 3 p.m., please. If you don't set your alarm for nothing else, set your alarm for this. Tomorrow at 3 p.m., we're going to pray. We're going to stand against that spirit of Corona, that virus that's been loosed upon the, upon the land. Amen. There's over 2,000 people have died already from that spirit. I mean, from that, from that, that virus. And over 75,000 has been affected, have been affected by that virus already. Amen. And who knows how many of that 75,000 going to make it, going to live. So people need your prayer right now. There are people that need your prayer right now. 
concerning this issue. Amen. We're going I'm gonna pray I'm gonna pray tonight, but tomorrow at 3 p.m. and also Friday at 3 p.m. We're going to stand against that spirit of Corona, that virus that is destroying lives. Amen. Remember what God said in his word. He said in Psalm 107 verse 20 that he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. That spirit of Corona that is going across the land, that virus, that's a, that, that's, a, that's, that, that's something that's trying to destroy God's people. And God said he sent his word. So we're going to believe what God said. How many of you are in agreement with me right now? Amen. How many of you are in agreement? How many of you are going, to, going to pray with me on tomorrow? Amen. Because this is, this is, where, this is where your faith is really, is really is required. I'm going to set my faith in agreement with your faith. And tomorrow at 3 p.m. when we pray for the fivefold ministry gift, we're going to pray for the people that's been affected by this disease, this virus, the corona. Amen. Over 2,000 people have already died from this spirit, from this corona. And over 75,000 are being affected. It's, all, it's, it's already been affected by it. If it was your sister, if it was your brother, it was, if it was one of your family members, wouldn't you want people to pray for you? Yes, you would. Let's pray for these people. Matter of fact, let's pray for them right now. Let's pray for them right now. Amen. Will y'all come in agreement with me right now? Amen. Flower. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you. You know, you, you people on live me, I, 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 you guys are all right. Amen. You guys are all right. Tanya. Glory to God. Privet. Katila. Halasho. Good. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we pray, we take a bold stand against this virus that is traveling across the land and affecting your people and taking their lives. Father, we take a stand right now of faith and we stand against that spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers and against the rulers of the darkness of this world and against spiritual weakness in high places. Father, as we take a stand against this, 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 this virus, Corona, we declare in the name of Jesus that it be bound now and we speak that it will cease its activity in the name of Jesus in the land of China, in the land of America and wherever else it has penetrated. We command this virus to cease its activity in Jesus' name. We speak death to this virus. We command this virus to, to dry up. We command this virus to die in the name of Jesus and return back to the pit from which it have come. Father, we release the spirit of life, health, and healing right now across the land. The people of China, the 75,000 that's been affected and the, and the families that have lost the, the, the 2,000. The, Father, we pray for those family members in Jesus' name. And we ask you, Father, that you would comfort them, that you would give them peace right now, Father. God, that you would assure them that, that, that they are walking in divine health and healing. Father, I thank you for it. And I declare that no disease shall come nigh their dwelling. No disease shall come nigh their dwelling. For you have given your angels charge concerning them and concerning us right here. That no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And Father, we decree, we declare it now in Jesus' name. That spirit of Corona, we command you to dry up. We command you to die. We command you to cease your activity in the land. And God, we thank you that it's done in Jesus' name. Now, Father, you said in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 12, that you hasten to perform your word. You said you sent your word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. We release that word now, Father. We release that word now in Jesus' name upon your people, upon your people. We speak to that spirit of corona, that virus. We command it to dry up. We command it to die now.